welcome guys let us discuss that which questions can be challenged for hrm and labor welfare paper of ugc net which is code 55 so this time this paper was was held on two days first on 5th of december then on 4th of january 2022 so from both the papers we have we are discussing these questions so basically what we did we invited everybody to share their doubts with us so then we analyzed each question one by one and based on that we have prepared this session so after watching that session you can make up your mind which question you want to challenge and which question you can skip challenging okay another thing is uh, if we are not discussing any question if you have shared any question with our team via email and if we are not discussing it here today that means that we have analyzed that but there is no merit in that and answer key is correct therefore you can simply assume that that question need not be challenged that is why we are skipping that and we are not in what, uh, including that in today's session second thing uh, we have been doing this exercise for last couple of years now answer key challenge and uh, don't think that just because answer is wrong nta will simply accept it with open mind and uh, correct its mistake that will not happen there are only very few areas where nta will accept its mistake we have been repeatedly seeing that so based on that understanding also will advise you whether you can challenge something or not and will also tell you that even though there is something wrong still will advise you not to challenge that because there's no benefit other uh, other than uh, losing your 1000 rupees uh, finally if you have any doubt anything which you want to say you want to discuss there is a link given in the description below that link will connect you with our team directly via whatsapp click on that and share whatever you feel like and uh, let's get started okay so uh, this is the first question it is which of the following is not related to job specification okay so guys all of you know the difference between job description and job specification job specification is what job space job specification are the qualities which are about the person which is to be hired about the employee so uh, looking at the uh, looking at the options definitely definitely hazards cannot be included in that list and nta has also given the same answer key which is that hazard option one is not included in job specification but but working condition can also never be part of job specification they are usually part of job description it's the other story that they are part of jd or not but what we can tell you for sure working conditions are never part of job specification because job specifications are not about the job job specifications about the person which is to be hired like his capability physical efforts and whatever job title sometimes yes it can be part e. yes and no so uh, so so fourth will definitely be uh, definitely will not be part of job specification hazards anyway which is given which is also correct so there are two correct choices for this one you have to choose only one and therefore our suggestion is that this question yes this question can be challenged coming to second question what are the hidden cost of industrial accidents hidden so there are some direct costs like on, on the day of accident your work will stop medical expenses somebody will go to hospital you will pay some compensation and all those they are direct costs then there are some hidden costs for example work, worker destruction like people will not feel like working next day if they know that somebody has died on previous day because of accident so a lot of paperwork which you will do with local authorities and government so these two are definitely included these two are definitely included so if we look at the options there is no option which we which includes uh, only these two because uh, this spoiled work uh, loss of efficiency these are costs, but these are direct costs, not, not hidden costs. Now, only thing which is questionable is wages. So now, because wages itself doesn't mean that whether it can be direct also, it can be hidden also because of the, the impact of the industrial, industrial accident. So what do we advise? Anyway, A and B are there, and there is no option which shows only A and B. So C can also be considered to be correct. And therefore, correct answer is A, which is also given by NTA. And therefore, 
you should not challenge this question although it's a poorly framed question but mind it nta will not accept it don't waste your money do not challenge this question next one name the three reasons in the role of selection of organizational effectiveness it's uh, very simple guys uh, these three options are there a uh, union has nothing to do with this and a b c options are given which is part 4 nta also has given answer key to be and only uh, therefore everything is uh, some of you have heard this with us therefore we are discussing it there is absolutely nothing wrong with this question therefore do not challenge this one next one if workers have no staying power and only alternative to work is starvation the supply of labor will be nta has given the answer key that perfectly inel inelastic which is option a which is absolutely okay there is no problem what does this mean this means that you don't have any other alternatives if you do not work you will die of hunger and uh, so the employer will always have that power that he can even make you work at reduced uh, pay or reduced money so uh, the supply of labor will not change even if you pay lower salaries that is why it is perfectly inelastic and this answer is correct therefore do not challenge it next one arrange the five steps in developing bars so the answer key which has been given by nta is one which is c e d a b some of you are saying that the correct order should be e c d a b so uh, so if you look at it i mean you can say that to some extent you are right but mind it that these options are given uh, exactly in a same way in a similar way in one of very prominent books of pearson you can see it here acharam uh, by acharam uh, by uh, this uh, pearson book and you can see that they are clearly written over here performance uh, the steps of developing bars you can see them clearly so <clears throat> coming back uh, again uh, npa will not change the answer key for this one do not waste your money and therefore do not challenge this question everything is good with this one as well okay next one which of the following are theories of labor welfare so what is the answer key which is given by nta the answer key which is given by nta is uh, 20298 which is option c which is b and c so uh, <clears throat> uh yeah so uh, b and c are uh, b and c are trusts theory and philanthropic theory. definitely they are theories of labor welfare although 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 d is also a theory of labor welfare so uh, answer could have been a better answer could have been b c and d but that is not one of the options you have to choose the answer from given options only and therefore the third option b and c is correct and do not challenge this question okay the next question is in which year joint consultative machinery and compulsory arbitration in government department was established okay so nta net has given the answer which is 2021 and uh, it is the option 2 okay but but based on the government sources the correct answer is around 1966 okay let us see the correct answer let us see the uh, that source so this is faq from department of personal training and as you can see on the first question which is what is joint consolidating machinery and in the third line the scheme was introduced in 1966 with the objective of promoting harmonious relations and securing the greatest measure of cooperation between cg and as the employer okay so as you can see here that the correct answer is 1966 therefore this question definitely needs to be challenged okay so uh, this question can be challenged okay moving on to the next question related to industry which is which is from the topic of industrial relations it says by the end of 1933 which of the following three trade union organizations were in existence okay so there are four organization which are aotuc rtuc ntuf and itu uh, ituf so uh, according to ugc net according to nta net the correct answer is uh, 6386 which is a b and c so ituf does not exist uh, by the end of 1933 so if we track if we track the history of indian unions Uh, AITUC was established in 1920. Okay, 
so after that after that aitc was first split gets its first split in 1929 okay and this split this split caused the formation of aitun all india trade union federation okay so again aituc was again split which is called second split in 1931 and because of this split r which is the red trade union congress was formed which is rtu so uh, what happened next so again again in april 1933 again in april 93 three three unions merged to form a new new union which of the following are these three unions these were ituf which is indian trade union federation plus aituf which is all india trade union federation plus national federation uh, nfl so it merged to form which is ntuf which is national trade union federation so the question says by the end of 1933 therefore by the end of 1933 only three organization were exist were in existence these three organizations were aituc as given in option a rtuc as given in option b okay ntuf which was formed after merging these three organizations which which was which is given in option c and then option d ituf since it already merged with these two organizations so it no longer uh, it ceased to exist and therefore option d is an incorrect option and the correct answer is option a therefore the nta net has provided the correct answer so this question do not need to be challenged okay